Hi everyone and welcome to the latest update from Parkinson's Queensland. A huge thank you to everybody that attended our Townsville Parkinson's seminar. It was a huge success. We had a great crowd uh, in attendance, very engaged audience. A massive thank you to our speakers, uh, to Dr. Richard White, the neurologist from Townsville, Linda Pinker, the exercise physiologist, and of course our very own Professor George Malik, who spoke about a range of uh, research projects that are happening around the world. So uh, thank you, it was a great event. And of course, we've got one coming up in Cairns on the 10th of September. So that'll be our final seminar for 2022. Um, thanks, of course, to our major sponsors, Pfizer, who have um, provided sponsorship in order for us to be able to run all four seminars throughout the year. So our final one is in Cairns on September the 10th. The details are on our website. Please register for the event. Um, get in early because we, we do have limited numbers. Um, again, because of um, the ongoing COVID situation and room size and all of those kind of things, uh, we will have to limit numbers. So if you're in Cairns or the surrounding area, please come on down. 10th of September, we've got a fantastic range of speakers, including Professor Peter Silburn, who will be flying up from Brisbane uh, to speak. Um, and of course, uh, a, a range of other speakers to talk about all things exercise and research. So it's going to be a great day. September 10, book early, jump on the website and, uh, and get your tickets. Uh, the other exciting event that we've got is right here in Brisbane on Monday, August the 15th. We have a Tango for Parkinson's dance class. Uh, we've got a, an amazing a teacher coming up from Melbourne who is not only a tango teacher, but she has been working in the Parkinson space as a researcher for a number of years um, and has developed a special uh, dance program utilizing tango uh, for people with Parkinson's. So if you'd like to come along, uh, it is free. Uh, you can come along to the Cooperoo School of Arts. You do need to register though. We do have, um, we, we only have a limit of 30 places available for the dance class, so you do have to register. So please either jump onto our website, give us a call, um, and uh, we'll get your details. But that's Monday, the 15th of August. The class will kick off at 10.30 a.m. So another um, really exciting uh, event. Uh, and finally, uh, for those of you that are into sports, we've got the Parkinson's Queensland versus Home Instead football match. Um, many of you know um, that uh, I'm from South America, so football is in the blood. And good friends at home instead uh, have called us up to a challenge. <laughs> and so we have Parkinson's Queensland Football Club, or we've created the PQIFC uh, with a range of, of players. We've got um, people living with Parkinson's. Uh, we've got a couple of ex-former uh, players uh, who are coming along to play, coaches. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It really is for a great cause. Home Instead are helping us to fundraise for um, the first phase of our newly diagnosed program. So a great event. Come and have a laugh. Cheer us on. Um, it's on August the 24th. That's a Wednesday, August the 24th at the University of Queensland Football Club grounds, which are in Chapel Hill. Again, all of the details are on our website. But we'd love to see as many of you as possible. Just come along and cheer us on. Um, have a laugh because many of us will probably spend more time on the ground than uh, than upright running. I know I'll be one, uh, but come and have, have some fun, have a laugh and uh, join us on August the 24th. Uh, look, that's all from me for this week. But of course, just finally, a reminder that uh, our Parkinson's nurse, Steph, is here to help you. If you'd like to book a time uh, to speak with her, um, give the office a call or send us an email. Um, at the moment, she's here two days a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, so please make a time. You can, you know, you can ask her a range of questions. That's what that's what she's here for. Uh, of course, we still have our telephone peer support program uh, running. So if you do need that one-on-one -on -one peer support, reach out to us. And of course, our wonderful support groups across the state um, who are there for you to um, to socialise to um, and to talk to other people who are going through a similar Parkinson's journey. So don't hesitate to get in contact with us if we can be of assistance. That's all from me for this week. I hope to see you again at the next one. Bye for now.